Hello viewers, welcome back to another math class. Today we want to solve this um, algebra. Then we have g equals xy plus half k y squared, and we want to make y the subject of the formula. So the first step for us to do here is to multiply true by 2. Okay, so doing that, here yeah, multiplying each of the terms by 2, here yeah, I'm going to have 2g equals 2xy plus k y squared now looking at this writing this this can be written as k y squared plus 2 x y minus 2 g equals to 0 and i can tell you that this is a quadratic term and the easiest way for us to do this is to use the quadratic formula approach so to break it down here, yeah, we're going to have that my a, which is the quotient of y, is going to be k, y squared, is going to be k. My b, which is the quotient of y, is going to be 2x. And finally, c is going to be negative 2g. So using the quadratic formula approach, here y is going to be minus b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So with this, we need to plug in what the values of a is, b is, and also what c is. So plugging in those values here, yeah, I'm going to have that my y equal negative 2x plus or minus root b squared is going to be 2x r squared minus 4ac 4a is k c is what? negative 2g everything over 2 multiplied by k so solving this further, here yeah, I have my y to be equals to negative 2x plus or minus root. Here, yeah, 2x squared to the power of 2 is going to give me 4x squared. Negative times negative is going to be what? Plus 8kg all over 2k. So, simplifying this further, here, I can have this to be negative 2x plus or minus root. Factorizing 4 out here, I will left with x squared plus kg. All over 2k. So going forward, the square root of 4 is 2. So this can be written as negative 2x plus or minus 2 root x squared plus kg all over 2k. So 2 is common to both terms, so possibly we can factor out 2. So factoring out 2, I have 2. This is going to be left with negative x plus or minus root x squared plus kg over 2k. So looking at this, Two can possibly cancel out two. And finally, I'm going to have y equals negative x plus or minus root x squared plus kg over k. And this is going to be my final answer. 
So yeah, you can have negative x plus this root over k or negative x minus negative this root over k. Thank you very much for watching my videos. If you have any suggestion or contribution, you can put it in the comment section. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.